Graduating from art school, um, really we just started a business 15 years ago and people started to hear about our approach and what we did and we ended up just collecting clients to use that opportunity to, to create great things. And so from coming from a sculptural background, I always see like, like business as a material that you can kind of use to kind of express thoughts or connect. And now we help clients from all over the world come up with ideas because design really is about a conversation whether it is between two people or an object or an experience so the more diversity and more different types of lives that you have in that the better is your chance of finding something unique. A company called Fisher & Paykel we worked with them to help define a way a story really on how they could engage with an audience around the possibilities of what a kitchen could be. And that's where we created an incredibly long experience, a 75 metre long kitchen, and created prototypes for different ways of kind of cooking, and invented food experiences, and invited 5,000 people to come and engage with the design and engineers from that company to talk about the future of appliances. And we re-engineered food, like we made a Earl Grey biscuit with a ginger nut tea, so when you dunk them together, they still maintain that, that, that kind of taste memory and then made a wooden induction surface which could actually hold chocolate at a perfect melting temperature and then had a uh, biscuit spoon that you would engage with it to teach people about how um, induction appliances could work. Yeah. Today I'm just going to share with you a few ideas about um, really living a creative life, doing what you do until others think it's worthy of doing. And when you think about those two little words, you kind of go, well, how are you going to fill up your life? And um, I've been kind of thinking quite lately, like, I love language, and um, I always think, like, what, what would be your last word? What would you put on your headstone, your epitaph? And um, which led me to start looking at um, other creatives. And Peter Ustinov, the poet, um, when he was asked what he would like, his answer was, um, was this, <laughs> keep off the grass. So I, I, I love that. It's uh, sensitive, um, engaging, and incredibly simple. I'm, I'm thinking of um, this one, exit only. Um, but I love ideas that are very simple, that, that communicate in the world in a great way. And I mean, Spike Milligan was one of those uh, great creatives, comedians. I think, I mean, I talked about that simple thing about Spike Milligan. And I think it is the ability to look at, you know, um, the world and just see, to try and break it down and reduce it, to find that the obvious idea that no one's ever seen. And those are the ideas that I love the most. Going right back to Spike Milligan, all I ask of you today is it's kind of freaky. When you're standing up here, there's all these eyeballs just looking at you. So we have a saying in the studio that if you can't see something, you've got buttons for, buttons for eyes. You know, like, like a toy, button for eyes. So I just, I just want you to go out there, just please, and give the world a bit of a wobble. Find your little thing, a little gesture that makes a smile and, you know, messes with someone's head. So these are, these are button buttons. You'll see I've got a couple here. You've probably been noting them there. Um, and, and just, just wear them. Take these two little buttons for me, they'll be at the end, and next time you're at the picture theatre, when the lights dim, and the movie starts, just pop a couple on your hoodie. <laughs> Creativity is like a sport without the umpire, so you have to end up kind of inventing your own rule systems to enable you to have a better chance of finding those unique, um, simple ideas. Any creative team works these days when there's a diversity of skill sets and collectively those skill sets together create kind of better things or uncover more interesting opportunities. When you're on something you just gotta you just gotta chase it, try and find ways to fight the boredom really. Yeah. I'm Dean Paul. Um, I believe in ideas. I believe it's a pretty good sport without the rules and everyone should play it. <laughs>